Each of our immune systems are trained to recognize the native protein structures of our own bodies as well as the antigen proteins of foreign invaders that could present a potential threat to our existence. If working properly, the system ignores self but mounts an aggressive attack on any foreign entity. In autoimmune disease, the patient's own immune system mistakenly identifies native cells of the body as a potential threat. Antigen-presenting cells, or APCs, such as macrophages or dendritic cells, confuse these structures as foreign antigens and train the immune system to eliminate the threat. Once activated, macrophages secrete pro-inflammatory cytokines, such as tumoral necrosis factor alpha and interleukin-1-beta. These cytokines then bind to designated receptors on the surface of the patient's own cells, and the bound complexes then act like a signaling beacon, inducing a massive influx of dendritic and other lymphocytic cells to the region, which then infiltrate and attack the patient's native cells of their own body, also known as an autoimmune response. In pregnancy, the growing fetus in the mother's womb and the placenta providing nutrients and oxygen to that fetus would all be considered foreign antigens and would thus stimulate a massive immune response from the mother, resulting in fetal demise. To mitigate this fatal immune response and ensure the propagation of our species, the placenta has the ability to locally suppress the mother's immune system without inducing a systemic immunocompromised state that could potentially threaten the mother's life. This is accomplished through mesenchymal stem cells, or MSC. Within the placenta and umbilical cord, MSCs are multipotent stem cells that can not only self-replicate, but can also differentiate into multiple tissues including bone, cartilage, muscle, fat, and connective tissue. These cells also produce immunoregulatory and anti-inflammatory factors known as cytokines, chemokines, exosomes, and secretomes. Produced in endosomes within the cytoplasm of the mesenchymal stem cell, the medium of the endosome contains cytokines and chemokines, including soluble tumor necrosis factor receptors and interleukin-1 receptor antagonists. Nanosized encapsulated lipid-lined vesicles called mesenchymal stem cell exosomes, or MSC exos, are also contained within the medium and seem to facilitate cell-to-cell -cell communication. The contents of the endosome are then released into the extracellular space by exocytosis, where they begin to modulate the local immune response. The soluble tumor necrosis factor receptors, STNFR1 and STNFR2, bind to circulating tumor necrosis factor alpha and prevent it from activating the endothelial cell surface receptor. Similarly, interleukin-1-RA binds directly and non-functionally to the interleukin-1-beta receptor on the cell surface preventing its activation. With no cytokine signaling, the local immune response is suppressed. MSC exosomes are lipid-lined nanovesicles that contain genetic material, growth factors, mitochondria, and various proteins. Exosomes are approximately 1,000 times smaller than the mesenchymal stem cells from which they are derived. These vesicles are incorporated into the local cells and lymphocytic line through either membrane fusion or endocytosis. The contents of the exosomes are then released into the cytoplasm of the cells where they further modulate the local immune response through altered protein synthesis and cell function. Mesenchymal stem cells can be harvested from a number of adult human tissues or mature placentas that would ordinarily be discarded after birth. Ongoing research suggests that these stem cells, their cytokines, secretomes, and exosomes may play a role in regenerative type medicine with new treatment strategies for a wide variety of disease processes including neurodegenerative disorders, traumatic cord or organ injury, osteo and rheumatoid arthritis, and possibly even acute respiratory distress syndrome or ARDS, often implicated as a major cause of death in COVID-19 patients.